there are terminal people out there uh, that I don't need to shame, but they are like sort of militant about disliking multiplexers. I'm not that person. If you want to use a terminal multiplexer in Ghosty, I want to make it work. However, I do think that terminal multiplexers uh, make the terminal experience worse, but but there's no better option right now. So it makes sense that you're using them. Um, so the reason I think a lot of people don't think about this is a terminal multiplexer is itself a full-fledged terminal where its UI is just text that's going to another graphical terminal. Like you're running multiple levels of terminals. And one of the first places that causes issues is there's features that Ghosty supports that because something like Tmux doesn't support, you no longer get. And a good example is, yeah, a great example is the uh, graphics protocols. Like we support graphics protocols, Tmux doesn't, um, you just lost that because the terminal within the terminal has to understand first. And since it doesn't understand, it throws it away. Um, and so if we could get rid of that, then then yeah. And, and one of the things I am thinking is the ability, I, my dream is with, with things like tail scale out there and making it so easy to do networking, um, private networking, I want to be able to run basically like a ghosty host instance on my home computer, run it against your tail scale network. And then anywhere you go, you know, reopen, reconnect, and it's your same sessions like Tmux, but instead of just the text, it's actually like all your old windows and splits natively perfect, the same size pop back up. Um, and you, and you could close all of them and it's all good because it's all remote and it's, and like, you know, you own all your data. It's just running on your own machine. It's tail scale, all that stuff. Like that is something I'm actively trying to do right now. And Tmux would just be dead to me. It would just be dead to me, you know, get out of here, Tmux. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the people behind Tmux and Zellage and stuff are great, but I think that philosophically I would, I would love to see them disappear. <laughs> not the people, not the <laughs> not people, reality, but not the people, but yes. the, the software. Yes. Rendered obsolete might be the better phrase <laughs> render it obsolete I, I i agree with that sentiment because i think and i haven't had this conversation with them but to their credit they probably are operating in a world they have to operate in right you've chosen yeah. to go a different route which is to innovate on the thing itself to make it a platform versus obfuscate it into something you know mm -hmm. by brute force basically yeah yeah and if i if i could get a little bit more nitty-gritty one of the things that i i think Ghosty, obviously the way I've talked about it, the way we focused on it has been the application. But I think long term what Ghosty actually becomes is what I what I call lib ghosty. Um, which I'm really trying to build this cross platform artifact, this library that you could build terminal emulator applications on top of. So you don't have to reinvent the core of understanding all of the the terminal stuff. You could just focus on sort of the UI part. And that's not theoretical. That's how the Mac that's how both Ghosty apps work. They have a platform-specific UI that builds...